Okay, and let's just push through the center here. Just gonna have a quick shifty at this one. 16.45, okay, fair enough. And just bring the knight through as we do. I think in last evaluation or something, not this last, last game, but in a recent one, it says don't take here, it pushes here, but I'm taking, or in fact it pushed past, but I'm taking the pawn. Stick with what we are happy with. I think it was when they took, then we don't push the centre, you do something else like push here, but I'm not very all fear with that. It was a better move, it was something to do with, I think either this pawn pushes here or the knight develops or something. But I just like blocking this pawn. So do we have the bishop, can bring the bishop out, maybe just to here because maybe they're coming here. It's a bit soft. It's a bit soft because it's defensive, it's not really attacking. But again, I'm comfortable with that. So now it's opening up all his space around here for his queen and now his bishop as well is attacking this area. So I'm going to develop my bishop, maybe I can bring it to keep my king a little bit comfortable with some company, maybe, castle. That makes sense to me. But yeah, he's got his army all facing, ready, coming towards this area. So if I can try and weather the storm as best possible. Okay, so now he's attacking this pawn, but is he really? Um, that's a question. Could go and attack his bishop. Develop the knight. Attacking the bishop. Oh, he's looking for this out. He's going to sit his bishop there isn't it if we attack him he's then gonna go and jump here isn't it but I bet you any money let's do that attack attack and then it goes here so it looks like he still wants to maintain this kind of angle towards our king which is quite lethal when the gate all placed in. We do have the momentary bishop here, but I think he's going to try and get rid of that. So maybe his knight can get into the attack as well. Attacking the king area. All these future thought processes, it can either make your game or break your game. What did I say? Bringing a bishop straight back. Okay, so we can still attack his bishop, see what he actually wants to do. But then he's just going to go back here because he wants this power base. If we then attack, I think he's going to be brave enough to actually take or something. I'm going to touch on it anyway. So that's what we know they want to do. They want that power base. Yes, he wants that power base. He wants me to push here. And if the knight, well, yeah, just wants to open up space around my king. Could bring my bishop back, which is a little bit kind of... I'm going to say it's lame. Or oh, we could develop the knight first. I think I'm going to develop the knight first just to get into the game. Yep. So can we weather this this attack already? You know, this it's it's here. It's ready. He's ready to rock and roll. He's bringing his knight up. Okay. So everything's getting prepared. Tempting to push here, tempting to push, tempting to push. Uh, move my queen off of line, but then his rook just attacks it. Bring the bishop back, so we then attack his bishop. That might be the gold, might it? Could come here. Take his knight off, his queen's there. Then we take the, then it opens up his rook. Mm. I'm going to bring the bishop back, keeping it simple as possible. We are trying to weather this attack on our king area. It is building up already. He's moved the bishop. He doesn't want his bishop taken. Mm, I was going to jump here, but he's got two pieces on there.
bishop can take I need more pieces around my king maybe if I bring my knight here if it's bishop takes, king takes, okay cool bring my knight here get this other knight up that might be the goal, might it? let me see what else do we have? That's a nice spot. I haven't got anything else apart from the bishop coming here, but the bishop will take it. Could take the knight off the board. His knight replicates. Mm -hmm. Going backwards doesn't seem right, does it really? Could go here just to move the pawn, make space for the queen. But again, the queen is on the other side of the board so we don't really want to do that come on we need to stop this attack we know it's coming so what do we do knight bishop takes king takes i'm going to bring the knight around just so i can potentially have pieces around i don't want to smother my king obviously this pawn's got no protection on it now. Okay, so he's just going steadily away. Knight could attack his knight now. If he takes, then we take his queen. So that's a bit annoying, isn't it? But I think his pawn's just gonna drop then. But I suppose we take the knight anyway. If we can get as many pieces away from attacking our king area, I think okay let's go with that give them so much to think about I'm trying to avoid this attack around our king you watch he still probably get it anyway <laughs> even though I'm try I know that it's coming have I done enough to prevent the potential um, viability of his moves towards my king area hmm interesting game well no it's more interesting the fact that we protect we knew that's where they're focused on and i don't know if we're doing enough but we've got pieces around the king area to try and protect against that attack so that's my enjoyment of this game is that where we're trying to do the pre preventative work but we're trying to be positive by turning our defense into an attack formation bishop doesn't have any protection on it can't do anything about it it's just uh, highlighting that it doesn't this pawn doesn't have any protection on our pawn doesn't um, this bishop doesn't have any protection on so we're kind of equal on unprotected pieces at the moment have I got any more mm. he's got a nice open file here that he could look to start owning which is a shame so he's probably ahead a few tempi because of that well maybe one tempo so this is why doing this sort of stuff with the answer um we've got so many concepts and ideas to work with it it builds it builds more always oh, attacking the knight oh well, i was going to take anyway i said the bishop was probably going to get attacked so we're going to take the knight anyway weren't we but let's not rush it because you know they took their time on their move because we take then his knight takes and they're still protecting the pawn here so i was thinking oh yeah we've got the queen and the bishop and we could take but he's going to have the knight there anyway but then we can take his knight and then the queen takes and then we'll be able to take this pawn if it works out that way i think it probably will but then if we rush it we take his queen's there his queen is here and his bishop that's where bishop this attack around here let's take like we said do we lose out oh didn't see that did i didn't see that and when I take here he's going to open up his rook is facing this pawn as well 
knight can come through, attack the queen, queen takes, rook takes, looks a bit messy doesn't it, Ooh, looks a bit messy, looks a bit messy to me, okay, gonna take, bring the knight through attacking the queen, queen takes, no maybe not because he's got the pawn here, he's gonna go greedy munching, he's gonna go greedy munching, I can't come back with the rook so I'll have to come here, well I don't have to actually, I could just let it go, That's not what we expected actually, is it? So the knight is protecting this square. So if we went and attacked his queen, he's probably not exchanging his, obviously he's, he could have had a pawn there. So this attack towards the king area, we tried to circumvent it, but he's, he's really still chomping at the bit. So how is he thinking he's getting rid of my knight then? There must be some fancy tactic thing. I go here. He's not going here. I, I am allowed to take because I don't have anything stopping. Is that right? It is right. I'm going to see what happens here. Maybe he didn't. Sometimes you don't see you know that the piece is protecting a square sometimes maybe that's why he went there thinking he was getting that I might be missing something I try to circumvent the attack towards our king area as best possible we nearly got there I don't see it I don't see it I don't think he's exchanging the queen I think he's going back here or something which is a bit annoying He's gone to the exact spot that I said as well. Oh dear. So if we go chasing his queen, where's he going? He's going to remember. Oh, I can take this pawn for free. So probably not wanting to give him that. But we're allowing his bishop in somehow. So I think I'm just doing this pawn move, aren't I? Could attack him here with the queen. It's blocking the attack here. But he looks a little bit risk averse. He's really wanting to put pressure on my king. This bishop with his diagonal. Is he making that work yet? I'm going to try one more time. Mm. Tricky looking situation. Ownership of this file is probably crucial, maybe, yeah, with the rooks. It's got double pawns here, but at the minute he's taking advantage of that because he's trying to power drive down here. It does capture. Oh, and he's got the pawn. If we attack his rook, gives him something to think about, but then his rook just attacks the knight. Do, 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 do. And then he kind of wins the pawn anyway. So if we push here, defend, then this pawn is sort of stuck in the center a little bit. Let's just do that, because they're in speedy mode now. Like they've got it sewn up ownership of this file is crucial so we might be able to drag a draw maybe i'm not sure i don't think he's taking though the, they treasure the bishops don't they what they'll be thinking is i've got a bishop versus a knight so they should be winning Ooh. I 
I believe this rook is coming here looking for the ownership of the file <coughs> excuse me <laughs> is he watching my video yeah, but he's watching this thing <laughs> oh dear me so if we go here with our rook like we've got the arrow here Is he looking to double up some pressure on? Don't forget he's got this slide check here as well. So if we go here, if he did do that, king takes, rook takes, rook takes. Yeah, so it's not too major. Let's go here. So he's got poor majority on this side. He does have double pawns on this side so we've got advantage each on one side of the board and the other side of the board so it's a little bit tricky just drop here to go here in fact i shouldn't show the arrows they're probably watching what i'm doing <laughs> Do you hear me going for a pawn move I'm going to look to double up on the bishop I shouldn't have done that no it's not going to hurt too badly no okay because if he took then I'd still take his rook anyway right before I go running I could go and put a check on his rook Rook comes down. Let's double up. Takes, takes. So we're owning the file, but is it really helping us? Then he takes because he's got poor majority on this side and starts doing some clever stuff. So we're going to have to start pushing these pawns up, get the kings into the game. Bishop takes, obviously. Ooh. It does take we could save the knight but then the knight would be um, pinned to the rook so we'll take with the rook keeping the file open it's going to take here for his power base unless of course he yes he's going to take there because he's looking to champion these pawns here how do we work this now <coughs> it's got to be moving this pawn because obviously they can see that this rook is coming here So it's actually attacking this pawn. I'm, I don't want to babysit the pawn. I really don't. But if I go here, he takes. Then he's going to have these two pawns that are linked. He takes, we take. I don't like it. I don't like it. I, I think I'm going to have to babysit the pawn. My usual knee jerk reaction is to fly the rook around the back. But I don't think that we win out. He takes. In fact, let's ignore the take first if we went here. And then if he just goes like that. Then we come across. Then he's got time to take. We come down to attack. He's got time to come across here to protect this pawn. Which is the all important pawn because it's linked. We take. He can then start pushing this pawn down. And then I'm going to struggle. Yeah, that's not good. It's not good. I'm going to have to babysit it. Oh, dear me. 
Okay, so we've circumvented the major attack in the early part of the game. So now the king's going to have to get involved. If I push here, give him something to think about, shoo him away a bit. Might be a trap in his own rook, actually. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed he's trapping his rook. If we pushed here, though, it's going a bit too far. He comes here. King comes up attacking and defending. He's got safe haven going back there, though, hasn't he? Let's just attack him. So at least we're kind of progressing these pawns up a bit to meet these um, doubles pawns here as well. He's got to check on my king though, by the way. Just thought I'd throw that in there. He's not taking that though. So what we'll do is just bring the king here. Surprised I've not offered a draw yet. I'll take a draw. It's all good. So his king's going over to try and support his pawn majority on this side. And we could start trying to get these up a little bit. He does have his outpost thing here though. So maybe we push this one first. Or maybe we get the rook off the board. Are we brave enough? Because he's got a pawn majority on this side. We've got a pawn majority this side. But sometimes these... Um, double pawns actually work in their favour so let me just picture it so if we end up coming up and up and then if we challenge one he takes takes I'm gonna be brave he might not take because oh he does take okay now it's moving like it's blitz or something. So if we push here, then at least we've got a bit of a, I don't know, you know, he's still going to have this pawn that's going to be, we push here, if he pushes down, we take, but then he's going to push this one as well, isn't it? Okay, let's just do that. There's no rush, it's not a blitzy type thing, so if he's got the majority, my king is in enough time to help out the pawns on this side. And we do have a pawn majority on the other side. Uh, oh, I need to avoid doing that. If we go here, because it's got two pieces now on this pawn, I think if I bring my king up, it's still it's just going to drop anyway so we do lose the pawn in a sense really do we have to take but then if we don't he comes past oh yeah that pawn majority's killed me hasn't it Yeah, he's going to have two linked pawns. That's not good. Do, 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 Push here, he just pushes down. Move to the side. What does it do if he does some of this? Takes, takes. Oh, I might have to because I think if I do, if I take, I think that's worse for me. Takes, takes. Mind you, I just have one pawn there, which is the king pawn. Hmm. Okay. Right. So it's not two linked pawns after all that. It's just that he has a center pawn. Okay, just take he has a center pawn and if he works it right he's going to be able to chase this pawn down and I won't be able to get that and he's got this pawn in the far corner 
I'm going to have to make it look like I've got something with my poor majority on the other side. I don't think that it's kind of slow. It is kind of slow. I don't know if there is something or not. If we go there, if he takes, then we take, then he's got that. He's left the game. Oh, we're we making it look like we've got something. It's 107 seconds though, so he can come back. Maybe they think we have something. I genuinely kind of don't think it's there. <laughs> I think if he moved his king around and stuff, he's back. He's back. He knows he's got something. Uh, mine's too slow. I should stop doing the arrows and stuff. I'm sure he's the stream style, whatever it's called. But they're looking at my stuff. So he's moved. So if we pushed. I'm gonna just push. I'm trying to keep them as better. And then if we go here and then go there, and then if we push on this side, then he's there, and then this pawn can go up. But I think they make hmm. I think there's something. Let's just do this. So if he pushes. So yeah, he does take. Is this king fast enough to get the pawn though? So he's coming down. His king can't squeeze through here. So if his pawn takes, I think we might be a little bit faster than their pawn. Let's go. And these pawns can't put a check on the king. That might have worked out quite for us. Position play. Oh, it's still going. Okay. You know, he might get a queen there, you know. <laughs> Me messing about. I think we should be okay now. Excellent definitely looking at the analysis on that but we taught everything through on that one and the concern that we had right at the very beginning of the game about the potential pressure the viability of their potential moves really was quite good if you know it was the spaces that they created opened up quite a lot let me do the arrows with me pointer there. yeah so this type of opening situation allows for this opens these open spaces around here you know with the bishops the queens that type of stuff and then they get the knight activated towards the king area and as we mentioned throughout all of that we were concerned that we were gonna leave our king home alone and we didn't want to do that we wanted to make sure that we had pieces around the king. Just going to have a look at the gauge bar, see if you know if there's any major dips or whatever, or if we're concerned about stuff that we don't need to be concerned about. So they they castled, we castled, and they brought the bishop through. We attacked, and basically they were doing the moves that we kind of were saying they were potentially going to do. But it doesn't mean that we were able to win a position, a good position. We just knew potentially these are the things they were going to do. It's like a snowball though, you know, you know it's coming, but you don't mean that you know how to get away from it. 
so they brought the knight through and gauge bar doesn't like the bishop coming back h6 no that's not h c4 for us oh all aggressive and huffy in the center yeah our focal point was on just trying to make sure we've got pieces defending around this area and that's saying don't worry about it just go for this center pawn here hmm i don't know if i'm brave in fact no did we not we we did actually mention this pawn move didn't we but not there we just said let's just open up the queen you know and protect the pawn right okay so they brought the bishop back and again we wanted to make sure that we kept our king safe or we had pieces around and the bishop was able to get into some sort of activity and the computer does not like that either and what's it saying knight h4 oh attacking the bishop <clears throat> yeah knight attacking the bishop i don't think <coughs> excuse me i don't think i mentioned that did i i don't think so i was too busy thinking of just defending making sure that i've got pieces that can come back into the game and attack that way but that's a nice touch as well <clears throat> i think one of the key things for me is um potentially doing this move here is the fact of then it's opening up his rook again to put more pressure towards the king area so in essence probably in the subconscious of my mind i'm thinking i don't want that opening at all <laughs> okay so we brought the knight down so obviously the computer doesn't like it but it's only minus 0.5 so there's nothing to write home about so we come and attack the knight and then they attack our knight so at this point here i think it's a move order type thing small potatoes it's only it's draw, drawish now here at the moment capture capture and then it's minus point minus 1.7 okay it didn't feel like a minus point something situation um he's taken the pawn but i wasn't really too concerned about that because really at the end of the day i've got wind <clears throat> because really at the end of the day we were so focused on getting rid of the um a t potential attack around the king area that this was like a mini celebration really so they captured and then we brought the knight through now again looking to keep the king companied with pieces not wanting to jump too far but a small piece attacking a higher piece can't be wrong attacking it twice and basically saying well yeah you know go for the pawn if you're going for the pawn so it's like drawish at this moment in time we're looking to exchange the queen off he doesn't want to exchange so that lack of exchange is giving us a 0.5 again that's neither here nor there so we attack it again computer does not like going for the queen exchanges but to me i'm saying i need to get this queen off the board so there's a mini celebration again because now at this stage we've circumvented that major attack right at the very beginning well the potential major attack at the beginning of the game because the opponent didn't quite get it off but you could see that's what they were aiming for, to to go for and so i'm quite pleased we didn't go too crazy on the defense and we didn't go too crazy on the attack and we just did a fair middling of counter-attack strategy strategical planning so the bishop attacks still showing drawish at the minute rook comes through still showing drawish at the minute okay it's these sort of details now this coming towards the end game thing that i'm really looking at the gauge bar now just to see if there's anything else that i can actually work on but it's usually just look at that <laughs> uh, is that where i said oh i've done that wrong it is isn't it yeah i think it is because the rook doesn't have any defense on so i thought his bishop was going to take yeah that's potentially what they should have done and then i went oh no then i would take here then his rook takes but then his rook is owning the file 
yep so his rook can then come down here and start attacking this pawn and then i'm babysitting this pawn he then attacks this pawn here so then he's going to be in the advantage so that's the kind of thing that the opponent really um, should have done that was a bit of an error on my part by pushing my rook to there i wanted to get my rooks doubled up so maybe i don't know if this is any good or not but maybe pushing it to here computers a little bit happier with that because at least it's got a pawn protecting it so that's where i should have put it in order for me then to be able to bring this other rook into the game smallest of detail but i did say in during the game that i put it to the wrong place so actually i'm quite happy with that okay well i'm not happy that i did it but i'm happy that i noticed that i'd made that mistake right let's see if there's any further dips now so the bishop going back like i said uh, i think he probably should have taken the knight there so they let us off because now we're owning this file really because we've got the doubled rooks so feeling fairly comfortable but yeah it is drawish i mean we did say well we've got a poor majority on one side they've got a poor majority on the other and but they've got double pawns it's kind of drawish their position with their pawns is quite good on the uh, queen side so they captured captured so looking drawish looking drawish all the way through but it's plus 0.1 nothing really so it's a positional thing and this is where i started crying isn't it because i didn't want to sit and babysit the pawn um if i'd have gone up here it would have been a loser yeah so if i'd have gone here it's oh it's showing a draw it's showing a draw it didn't feel like a draw to me um i think in the human world oh no in fact we didn't go that road did we we said we're going to potentially push here and then if we went here yeah you see that's where it goes wrong you see me going there and then if i went in here yeah so that definitely was losing that line that i would have been looking to take was not going to be a good line so i believe we made the right choice yeah oh plus point one <laughs> so yeah that's better than the other way so we started attacking their rook we wanted to try and condense it in as best possible doesn't like that move let's jump down to minus we can put a check on we did say he could come down and put a check on i didn't really think it was going to be that meaty okay so it's jumped back up again plus for us but again neither here nor there with those situations okay this is the learning curve now so we went for the exchange because in my heart of hearts <laughs> i believed in my subconscious that this could be winning somehow and that my king could potentially come across around, along the other side here to try and just get rid of their pawns and support the pawns against their pawn majority on this side and that was it that's all i believed and they did actually capture so blocking off as best possible and then we did think that they were going to have two linked pawns from that exchange but then after looking it didn't look so but now if i just flick back here the gauge bar was so much on our side just a little bit previous hold on was it here no or was it further back maybe it was just a quick jump that it did there 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 i'm sure it did something jump no not yet okay so it's still drawish still drawish it must have just had a moment of um freakiness still drawish yeah still drawish as well there okay captured captured maybe i moved too fast for the um okay so it's gone up by 0.4 for us at this moment so we capture so it's plus 0.2 again neither here nor there but as you get towards this end game type stuff that plus 0.2 of anything or plus 0.1 of anything is really crucial so this is how i learn these ending things from constantly looking at this type of stuff 
in the earlier part of the game it's like minus two is minus you know minus two is my maximum or plus two whichever color i am um and that's really where i've got to really pay attention as to learning from that evaluation as it gets closer towards the end game any advantage i've got to learn from and any disadvantage i've got to learn from so the small pawn push up here didn't feel too bad i'm think what did i say i was thinking maybe his king could come down here and start challenging but his timing is going to be wrong isn't it maybe pushing here but then he's going to be babysitting the pawn so i think yeah it's a bit of a tall order isn't it so he pushes his pawn and we push up now believing that we have something but still concerned about his king coming here if his king came there would that be a loser it's only plus point not at the minute interesting that's what i was worried about him actually bringing his king here either earlier on or at this point but we did we would have carried on pushing this pawn and what i was thinking was he was potentially coming here yeah okay that's not going to work for him is it that's not going to work for him pushing this that is definitely not going to work for him yeah okay cool that's fine so we worked it out right that's fine that's fine so he pushed so then we pushed here it's not showing any major advantage at the minute even doing this maybe it's hmm, maybe it's the element because it's saying d4 isn't it and then if he gets his king across somehow and supports his pawns here because i'm gonna have to babysit this pawn with my king I think that's where we would have lost out, isn't it? Yep. So we go here. I'll try and play it through as best possible. He goes there. And then if we started doing this, he can start moving his king across. Ooh, he still loses. I don't admit, I don't think there's a way out for him, is there? <laughs> but it's showing draw there at the minute. So the computer's saying take here and basically now that this pawn is up there king d5 it's saying it's saying a draw it's saying a draw so it looks like they could have got a draw interesting times hmm so we would have gone here but then obviously it takes and then we'd try to get it up but is his king going to be fast enough i think it is and we take and then we've got this pawn to contend with what's it saying king f5 king f5 king d5 uh, i don't know if i'm full of them apples am i yeah so they could have got a draw i don't want to take it all the way through because i really don't like playing against the computer but yeah they could have got a draw out of that so i'm not jumping up in celebration <laughs> but they didn't do that did they so we took a smallest of advantages of pushing the pawn up here so it was all about his king really getting over to the other side to help support the pawns so he brought his king here which i did think was a bit strange because he can't get to here or here so playing human chess obviously you know um so they grab and then that gives us time to go and get the queen okay so there's things to learn there yeah definitely wasn't a clear win at all but when the eval when we do the evaluations after all these games we always find these golden opportunities to do things and this is how we develop and grow but it's during the games that's where you really want to be trying to see those things but also it's trying to take advantage of what the opponent doesn't see as well so i'm happy with that game that really felt good and the player played well as well so yeah we'll move on with the answer process